everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm gonna do a everyday makeup look. So this is gonna be basically how I do my makeup every day. The only thing that will be different is my eyeshadow. Today, I'm gonna use the Little Mix Lux Eyeshadow Palette and my eyeshadow differs day to day. Mainly when I'm at work, it will be more simple. Or if I'm filming or something, I'll make it a little bit more interesting. But if I had more time in the morning before work, I would definitely have more, you know, do more with my eyeshadow. But this is basically my everyday routine. So this is my makeup bag. My background, by the way, is slightly different. I'm just in front of the window where there's most light. And the only mirror that I have to do my makeup today is this tiny little mirror here. So hopefully I'll be able to see what I'm doing. So it is the afternoon now. This morning I did my skincare routine. I wanted to film me doing my makeup so I haven't actually done my makeup yet today. My skincare routine is just a serum, a moisturiser and SPF. That's all I do in the morning and in the evening it's more simple than that. I just take away the SPF. I've just had more of a simple routine recently but anyway stop waffling on. The first product I'm using is this collection Lasting Perfection Foundation and this is a matte foundation. It says it is 16 hour wear and the shade that I have is Biscuit. That's nice. That is a nice shade name. Um, I'm going to use a brush but sometimes I do use a beauty blender. I take one pump onto the back of my hand and I distribute this around my face and then I'm blending the product in. I'm actually going to clean my makeup brushes today. I clean them once every two weeks and I do that because I think if I if I do it once every two weeks, I'll always do it once every two weeks. Like that's just part of my schedule and it just means that, you know, they stay fresh and clean and the brushes perform better so they put makeup onto your face better because they're softer when they've been cleaned and yeah, I hate it when makeup brushes I've got like loads of product on them because they've not been washed in a while. This is a concealer from Wet n Wild and it is the Photo Focus Concealer. I love the Photo Focus foundation. That is one of my favourite foundations. Another one of my favourite foundations is from Maybelline, the Superstay one. This one that I've got that I've used today from the collection is okay, but it, it I don't know, I feel like it doesn't blend as nicely and it's a bit more sticky. So I, it's, it's, it's all right compared to some I've had. But yeah, I'm gonna use this concealer now. And I'm just gonna blend this in with the same brush that I used to do my foundation. And when I'm blending in my concealer, I tend to kind of pat the product into my skin rather than um, drag it and it just kind of makes it blend a little bit nicer on top of the foundation and not go um, streaky or anything like that. If you can see, there's actually a hamster cage here. Currently, my hamster's hamster cage that I have for him, which is actually quite a large cage, it's really long, I made it myself, um, is at my parents and I've moved him back into my flat, my hamster that is, and temporarily he's had to go in a small cage and it just makes me realise like how ridiculous hamster cages are. Like they're so small, like, it's like me staying in my flat and not leaving at all ever for the rest of my life like that is horrible like even feel sorry for him in a big cage let alone a little one and yeah I can tell he doesn't like it because since he was born he's well not since he was born but since I bought him from the pet shop he'd been used to this big cage that I made for him so now he's really gonna think like he's in prison or something I don't know um obviously you can't tell your hamster that he's gonna be able to have his old cage back soon so he probably thinks that this is his new life but don't worry Fertile we're okay but yeah if you're wondering and you can see I don't know if you can see on the camera but yeah don't worry I haven't gone back to a small cage um I know there's a lot of hamster police out there that would say like you are a terrible person for putting your hamster in a small cage don't worry he won't be going in a small cage and I completely agree with people that say that well I don't I wouldn't say you're a terrible person but I would say you should really if you're gonna get a pet 
you should, you know, have the intentions of wanting to look after that pet. And part and process of looking after the pet is making sure that it's got the best quality of life. And in one of those tiny, small ass cages, it is not having the best quality of life. So you should be getting a pet so that you can look after it and give it the best life, not because you want the pet for yourself. I am now going to powder. I'm using this powder from, is this from Rimmel? Yeah, it's the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and it's in the shade transparent so this is quite a nice powder it's very um finely milled which means that it will basically look you know better on your skin it won't look as cakey onto the skin i like to make my face really matte after i've done my makeup because i have oily skin and throughout the day the oils um do come through even when i've powdered loads it, it's just a fact it just happens um so i just tend to kind of powder a bit more heavily when I've done my makeup and I don't powder throughout the day because I just think like who cares like I've done my makeup now but if my makeup deteriorates after a couple hours I don't really care like that's that's just me now I'm going to contour now by the way just to let you know I don't always do every single step that I'm showing in this video especially for work sometimes I'm too tired I can't be bothered in the morning and I will just do I'll always do foundation concealer powder and then sometimes I'll just do bronzer eyebrows and mascara and that's it but this is my everyday makeup if I'm doing everything that I would like to do. I take my sleek contour kit and I'm going to take the contour shade and just kind of very lightly pop that up my cheekbones and kind of under my chin on the jawline. And then a touch down my nose. I think I may have put too much product on this side. Can you see that? Yeah. If I do that, I just apply a little bit on this side and then I'll blend them both out equally. I'm now going to bronze and I'm using my sleek bronzer in the shade Literally. And I just take a little bit of this and I just bronze up my skin. I'm now going to take this blusher from Vive. This is in the shade Pesca. And I just take a little bit of that and pop it up my cheekbones. I love blusher. I don't know what it is about it. I think it just really makes a difference. It's looking a lot more pigmented on camera though, I do have to say. So some of you might think, you know, why do you wear makeup to work? Or like, why do you bother? Um, And my job is not my job is basically involving dusty situations and sometimes in fields of Bali so it's not like I need to wear makeup or anything like that or look presentable I don't know I just like to do my makeup because it's almost part of my personality like this is me like this is my look this is what I do and it's like people wear clothes that they like to me this is part of my clothing like this is just what i do and i don't feel like fully myself without it and i think if like i could happily go to work without makeup on and be completely fine but i would just feel like not myself you know i would almost feel like i've come to work without my shoes on it would just feel different and weird i just like makeup and there's it's a rare day when I don't wear makeup, even when I'm not at work, because I really love doing it. It's, you know, therapeutic for me. It's calming. Um, I find it quite relaxing. It's like painting your face. I've always liked art as well. So to me, it's almost like an art form. And yeah, I just, I just really love it. And by the way, I'm using this highlighter from Technique, um, just subtly. But yeah, makeup to me, also it's part of my morning routine. It's like um, a way for me to kind of wake myself up. So I'll have my coffee and then whilst I'm doing my makeup, I'm kind of waking myself up. And it just gives me that little bit of time in the morning before I get in my car and go to work to just kind of chill. Now, this is the part that I hate is doing my eyebrows. So I'm just going to take this spoolie from um, this random eyebrow pencil. And I'm just going to brush through them. I'm then going to use this e.l.f. Lock On Liner and Brow Cream, um, which looks like this. And I'm just going to try and do this very quickly. 
I dislike doing my brows because I don't know I just find them really annoying to do and I hate the fact that I try and get them both the same because it just never happens so I try and do it quickly and just not think about it too much I love it though when I actually dye my eyebrows using a like um, eyebrow dye kit from Maybelline well worth it doesn't last many days but if it saves me doing my eyebrows for a few days to me it's worth it right I don't know how they're looking on camera but in real life they're looking okay so that's my eyebrows done I will always do my eyebrows next I do eyeshadow so I'm gonna take this eyeshadow palette um little mix so the looks eye palette and I quite like this palette the shades are actually really nice quality I found I'm gonna go for something you know kind of basic I'm not gonna do too much of an eye look in this video because it's just like an everyday thing so I'm just gonna take this shade down here in the corner and I'm just gonna kind of pack that over my lid and it's just gonna be like an oh you know like an all over the lid kind of shade and yeah they're quite buttery eyeshadows in my opinion like they do blend really nicely just heard a really weird noise come from my phone that I've never heard it do before so um that is weird I'm also just taking that shade underneath my eyelash line and then I'm just going to blend this out a little bit more sometimes I do winged eyeliner when I go to work, I will very rarely do winged eyeliner due to, you know, time issues in the morning. Don't want it to go wrong and have to um, spend some time fixing it. Um, but sometimes I do do it. Now I'm going to set this in place with the W7 Matte Fixer Setting Spray. And I'm just going to pop that all over my face and it just makes things a bit less powdery. And it will make your skin look a little bit more glowy, even though it does say matte. When I, when I say glowy, I kind of mean not powdery, which I've sort of already said. Yeah, I don't know why this blush is looking so strong on camera when it's not in real life. Um, but anyway, mascara time. Don't worry, I've not forgotten. This is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. And I really love this. It's definitely worth the money. I think it was like £10 or something. Usually I wouldn't spend money on a mascara. Usually I'd be like two pounds max But then I thought you know what maybe it's worth paying a little bit more So I actually decided I'm gonna try this mascara that everyone used to go on about So I bought it for ten pounds from boots Tried it and I was like damn Like I'm gonna keep buying this <laughs> Sometimes it is worth spending a little bit more Right mascara is done for lips i'm going to take off the foundation i'm going to use this contour stick from aoa studio and i just take a little bit of that and just line my lips at the bottom and at the top just slightly like that and then I use this lipstick from Vive. This is in the shade 90s and I really love this lipstick. Definitely something I'll repurchase when I run out. It's not cheap, it's 19 pounds, but worth it. It's worth it to me because I wear it every day. This is my everyday lipstick without fail. So that is my everyday makeup for at home, going out about my daily life or going to work. I mainly wear makeup at work rather than anything else. The weekend is almost like my time to not wear makeup. So I was kind of annoyed to have to do my makeup for this video today, but never mind, um, it's okay. Um, but yeah, so this is the finished look. That's all the products that I use. I don't tend to buy a lot of makeup. I tend to use the products that I've got until they've finished. For example, I know this is bad, but I've had this since I was 16 and I'm now 22 and that is not good, but I still use it. I still use it I'm not got any facial diseases or anything from this um but yeah that's I, I like to you know why would I throw it out when I when it's good maybe because it's expired but anyway 
I don't tend to switch things up. The things I purchase the most are powders, concealers and foundations. But again, I will always use those products. So yeah, I think for me, the things that I purchase that I don't necessarily need are eyeshadow palettes, but I, I use them all. I go through them all and it's worth it to me. So yeah, but this is my everyday look. It does not stay looking like this by the end of the day, especially if I'm at work and if I'm on the computer, I will put my hands on my face and it just rubs all of it off. If I'm doing anything else, I tend to wear a dust mask and it will just remove everything. But I don't care because this is part of my routine and this is what I like doing in the morning. So thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe if you want to see more videos. I'm trying to post Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. It will be a Sims video every Friday. So if you're interested in The Sims or you play it or you just like watching it, there will be a new episode every Friday. There's already one up on my channel. So go and watch that if you haven't already. But thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.